Okay. So, so Chris and Miguel, when we talk about like historic Midwest fights, the one thing that we always like to point out is the Steve Berger, Aaron Riley hook and shoot bout, which so, so Chris, we always talk about the mad genius of, of Jeff Osborne with like hook and shoot and stuff like that. And Steve Berger fights him in four days. Steve fights Aaron Riley, which is an all out war, like the Gotti ward of the indie scene. Four days later, he's headlining against Brian Garrity on a Brian Madden show. That's how it was in the old school, dude. I mean, we well, were young, we that, didn't need rest. How does that fight kind of come together? Are you asking me now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, no, Miguel, so I, Miguel I needs to sit. Yeah. I didn't know I was I was gonna be fighting. I went with Mike Delaney, who was gonna be fighting his partner, uh Mike Rogers, Steve Rogers. He was a heavyweight. Mike Rogers from St. Louis. Yeah. Okay. So Delaney was fighting Rogers that night. I was going along for the ride. So I had been drinking <laughs> all day long the night before. And we get to the event and Mike Delaney comes up to me. He's like, Hey, uh, uh, you get, you got to do something. And I'm like, what? He's like, wow, oh, you got to fight. And I'm like, what? You know, and I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm brand spanking new to the sport. I, you know, and my, uh, Mike Delaney's my sensei. So I, in reality, I don't know how to fight. No offense to Mike Delaney, but I, I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm, you know, 19, 20 years old. And they're like, you want a couple hundred bucks to fight? Oh, yeah. 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 You know, 200 bucks to, for, to go to work for, you know, 10 minutes, whatever. What? You, yeah. I didn't know who Steve Berger was. So it didn't mean nothing to me when they said you're fighting <laughs> Steve Berger. That didn't mean anything to me. I'm just like, I, I, okay. You well, it was a main event bucks, too, right? right? Yeah. Was so, it the main event? Mm, I don't remember. It was close. It was, it was later in the night, you know, but again, I, I didn't know. I didn't know what, what that meant. What, 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 what point you're at in the card. If that meant if you, it was a big fight or little fight, it was just, they told me 200 Fight. bucks, so I'm, I'm going to do it. You know? He fought well, Steve Berger for 200 bucks. Hey, yeah. it's a good thing you were drinking all day, too, because that calmed the nerves down a little bit. You know what I mean? Just Yeah, so my anxiety was pretty low at the point, and I didn't care. You know, I just thought, well, it's a good thing I brought some shorts with, you know. <laughs> so, how, how'd the fight uh, go? How'd it go? Uh, I just remember, you know, I was kind of drunk. So <laughs> my, my recollection was... uh. Uh, we, we, we threw a couple, we had a couple exchanges on the feet. Nobody did nothing special. He took me down. The, the one thing I remember, cause this was the, I used to, when I first started fighting, I liked wearing the, I liked the tie shorts. Remember the baggy type oh, yeah. tie kickbox? I liked those because they, I thought they looked cool. And <laughs> I, that was the, that was the last time I wore tie shorts. Cause what happened was when Steve took me down, he he balled knotted up my tie shorts and punched his fist to the ground. So then I couldn't move my lower body because he had <laughs> me by the shorts. And I was like, well, that, that, that's not I, fair, you know. But Steve came from a, he came from a gi background, so he knew how to, you know, do that stuff with his with his gi jujitsu background. And I I was just like a scrappy kid, you know, training uh, Mike Delaney Kwon Do at the time. So uh, I didn't know what I was doing, and I ended up getting arm barred. And I just remember just popping up with a smile on my face. It's like, well, I'm, I'm getting 200 bucks and I'm not hurt. So now we can go out and have fun, you know? So it wasn't a big deal. How did you meet Mike Delaney then? And how does he become your sensei? Okay. So well, I had always been interested in learning jujitsu since I was 13 years old. You know, when the, wow. the UFCs came out, my okay. brother used to go to Blockbuster and rent the UFCs <laughs> and, um, and uh, Faces of Death. So we'd watch those. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my brother wasn't nice. He, he was, my brother was a strange character. He liked watching people get hurt. So I just like jujitsu. I was like, wow, that's really cool. So years down the road, my buddy tells me, hey, I started training jujitsu with this guy I lifted with at the gym. And I'm like, oh, really? So I, I went in and I started training with those guys. It was Mike Delaney and this guy named Rick. And, uh, Rick I didn't know any better, so I'm just like, oh, you guys do jiu-jitsu here? And they're like, yeah. And I remember asking them, I'm like, well, what, are you guys black belts? What belt? And they both kind of chuckled like, ha, 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 we don't need belts, you know? <laughs> we know what we're doing. So I'm just like, all right, yeah, I guess. You know, they, they, you know, they were better than me, so I, I took their word for it. Was it that, Rick Raverson? 
No, uh, I, I can't think of the, his late. He, he didn't fight or anything. He was just, okay. he just trained and he, you know, uh, he was, uh, he was a nice guy. 